Hey everyone, it's Andy, aka The Flying Yeti, back with another video on my Flying Yeti motorbike channel. It's been a while. I say it's been a while, it's been a few weeks. It's all, what are you supposed to talk about? I've done the track day at Donington last time, so if you didn't see that and you want a bit of behind the scenes, post-Covid track day, if you're wondering how that's changed to the, the normal track day, then um, I'll put a I'll put a thingy what's it at the end of this video, so just click on that and you can go and see. The track day, as I say, was at Donington with, um, who was that with? MSV on one of their evening sessions. So yeah, enough about that. So today I'm out and about in the glorious Northamptonshire countryside, as you can see. The slightly scorched Northamptonshire countryside. It's uh, 24 degrees, so it is slightly warm. I've got my new Alpine Star summer jacket on. And I've got all the vents open and I must say I'm slightly warm. We have just come through the town so we've been riding slow so looks like we're still riding slow with the traffic in front of us but hey ho it is what it is we're out and about on a Tuesday afternoon so I could be cooped up in, the, in an office somewhere moaning about I wish I was out on my bike so yeah it's not all that bad when you look at it in that sense mind you I'm not exactly earning a lot going out on this but you can't have it always, can you? It's money, work, stress, or less money, less stress, more fun. So I'm choosing the latter. So today's ride out, I've just bought a drone. Now, I've not flew the drone yet, so what we're doing, me and Ollie, Ollie's behind me on his Husqvarna, whatever it is called, SM610, is that what you call it? So he's behind me on his husky. So we're going out in the wild somewhere, away from everybody, and we're gonna attempt the maiden flight with the uh, DJI Spark drone, which I got as a combo kit. Um, the combo kit basically means, if anyone's remotely interested in drones, that you get the actual drone itself, and you get the controller. I mean, you can, you can fly these things with your mobile phone um, via the uh, DJI Go4 app which is free to download with your purchase. And um, the only downside with flying it with the drone is that the controls are a little bit more fiddly because obviously you've got all the virtual joysticks on the, on your, in my case, iPhone, rather than the old proper joysticks. And apparently you get limited range on it as well because it's just obviously linking to your phone, not the controller, which has uh, got the antennas on and all that sort of gubbins. So, as I say, this is the maiden flight, so I'm not planning on flying it miles away because I can foresee problems if I do that. Mainly losing it, crashing it into trees, even though it's, it's apparently it's got a uh, one of those sensors on it that that senses obstacles, trees, buildings and other such obstacles that may be in your way when you're flying the things. But nevertheless, I don't really want to lose it, so I'm not going to attempt to fly it too far. Now, I bought it second hand off of eBay. I think they're sort of like 500 odd quid, and I paid like whatever I paid, 310, I think it was. Which, eh, 310 quid is still a lot of money, even though it's a kind of a bargain for one of, one of those drones. It's still a lot of money. It is touted to be uh, DJI's sort of entry level drones. It films in. 1080p at 30 frames per second so you can't get 4k on it so not really suitable for professionals which let's face it I ain't ever likely to be a professional cinematic photographer stroke vlog or whatever you want to call it so I think this will be suffice for my needs put it like that uh, as far as the range goes with the with the controller plugged into your phone Apparently it goes, don't quote me on this, but it's around about a mile. Now, as I said a minute ago, I'm not planning on flying it too far. And I'm, I don't want it so I can't actually see the thing. But it's just to basically get out and practice. So I may or may not put some footage up of this drone on its maiden flight. If there's no footage at the end of this video, that means I've either crushed it, lost it, or the footage is absolutely shocking so I'm not going to bother uploading it but hopefully at the end of this video there'll be a bit of drone footage now moving forward moving forward I ain't moving very forward with the Royal Mail in front of me oh 
God's sake. I hate these sort of rides where you're stuck behind things. Um, so anyway, moving forward, I am planning on, I'm going to do a little trip, so I'm going to start local. Um, I want to go for like little ride outs in scenic place, places around my local Northamptonshire. Because, let's face it, most people that live in their own counties, a lot of them don't explore what's on your doorstep. They'll, they'll take a ride to wherever, I don't know, Wales, Scotland. Devon, Cornwall, that sort of thing. So they'll they'll bypass a lot of their beautiful scenic places to get to another beautiful scenic place. Okay, I'm not comparing Northamptonshire with Scotland, Wales, Devon, Cornwall, because as far as scene goes, it's not quite in the same league. But it's a good starting point. I want to I want to explore my local territory because even though I've lived in Northamptonshire all my life, and that is 55 years, so quite a long while. There's loads of places where I've been out, even since I've had this bike, and I've done, well, the bike's done 2,700 miles, so I've done 1,700 miles on this bike, and a lot of the places I've been, I'm like, wow, this place looks beautiful, and I'm, I'm still in Northamptonshire. How have I not discovered this place being here for 55 years? I never know. I mean, look at this, I don't know whether you can see it on the, on the, um, nearly said GoPro, I haven't got a GoPro, I've got a Drift HD on the side of my helmet. But yeah, so uh, I want to start going out for little ride elks, exploring the local countryside. There's a beautiful viaduct over near Corby, which a lot of people obviously head that way that are into their photography and, and drone flying, etc. And I've looked at quite a number of people's videos on that particular viaduct. I can't remember the exact location, but it's near Corby in Northamptonshire. If you know what it is, um, save me Googling it. Leave me an old message leave me a comment that's the one leave me a comment in the description below and it will save me googling it but if you don't then i will google it well look at that look on a well reservoir down there that's another drone location want to get used to flying because there's water water drones mm, what's the worst that could happen yeah so stay tuned and hopefully i will bring you a bit of footage of a field